So folks, I am um, I am Dickie Richards, bon vivant, raconteur, Polish cockney, yes, and sexual tyrannosaur. That's right, sexually, I'm just like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, I've had nothing in 65 million years. Actually, let me tell you something about the Tyrannosaurus Rex that you won't know. Did you know the Tyrannosaurus Rex were the most secretive of all the dinosaurs? Yeah, apparently played their cards very close to their chests. Of course, I'm nothing like a Tyrannosaurus Rex sexually, no, no. It's a, actually, sex is one of my favourite pastimes. I've had a lot of sex in my life, all over the world, in thousands of different positions. But, you know, it still excites me. I still have sexual fantasies. I'd love to have a twosome. <laughs> And there, a little joke about masturbation. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't like doing it. That's the thing about masturbation. It's a little bit unpleasant, but it's good to get it out of your system. Actually, I read that the average man, actually read that the average man masturbates uh, seven times a week. Yeah, the average man masturbates seven times a week. Now, I'm an average man. Masturbate five times a week, roughly, and twice a week, really gently. <laughs> a Polish cockney, that's what I said, right? So you can tell I'm a Londoner. You can tell I'm a cockney, but you won't know that both my parents are Polish and came over as refugees in World War II, right? So I was born to Polish parents, but brought up in London. So I really am half and half. I'm half Cockney and half Polish. And that, thank you, thank you. And that gives, me a, that gives me a real pull of personality, right? A real pull of personality, a real jackal and hide fight going on between the Cockney and the Polish. Because you see, the Cockney side of me wants to break into your house, and the Polish side wants to decorate it. <laughs> All my, all my family were Polish. Uh, my grandfather was a pilot in the Polish Air Force during World War II, right? and he got shot down over the English Channel, and he survived the crash, and he swam to Britain, and he almost immediately joined what then became a very famous Polish squadron in the RAF. And I'm really proud to say that my grandfather flew a hurricane in the Battle of Britain. Right? And that calls that. So he's my absolute hero, my absolute hero. And um, when I used to go and see him as a child, right? when I used to go and see him as a child, he used to take this tin from under his mattress, and inside the tin, He'd have like, his flight log book, he'd have some medals, and he'd have this like, watch with the squadron insignia on it. And he said, let me hold the watch, he used to tell me stories about his adventures and his escapades in World War II. And I was fascinated by it as a child, absolutely fascinated. Now he died about eight years ago, and I was really proud that he left me that watch in his will. And tribute to my granddad, I keep that watch under my mattress too. Now, in August last year, I was away for the whole month working, and uh, I remember I got back home, it was about five o'clock in the evening, opened up my front door, and the house was quiet. I heard some movement upstairs. So I rushed upstairs, I opened up my bedroom door, and I found my teenage daughter in my bed with her boyfriend, both naked. I went mad, I kicked him out. I said, get out, get out of my house. And I'm not having that. Now on my watch.